Oh God, it's Monday again. I don't want to drive to office. We all hate it, but little bit of preparation could make it a joy ride to office. What do you mean? See, if you prepare few things before you drive, you'll be surprised with the amount of uh, difference you will see. What? Even before getting into the car? Yes. Oh, I'm interested. Tell me about it. Okay, let me ask you a question. What time do you start from your home every day? Um, around 8 a.m. Okay, and uh, since when? Three years maybe. So how did it occur to you that 8 a.m. is the best time for you to start from your home? I never thought about it. Okay, so here is the deal, right? I just Now, get ready for 8. Okay, the point is, uh, there is always a sweet spot, you know, when you start driving, Maybe you could start at 8:30 on one day, maybe at 7:30 another day, and that way you can figure out what is the best time for you to start, so that you can reach your office at the least amount of time. Does it make sense? Mm, yes. Okay. Also, if uh, this manual trial and error sounds like a bit chaotic for you, you could also look at technology apps like Waze and even Google Maps tells us what is the best time for us to start from home. to reach a particular destination you could give a try at that oh really i'll give it a try maybe if you start 10 minutes early you might reach 25 minutes earlier to office isn't that a great deal oh wow of course getting to office in the shortest possible time is important but there is something even more important than that so let me ask you this how do you keep yourself engaged while driving I just listen to some radio. The problem with radio is that you are basically listening to lots of ads and some songs in between. So what I do is I have few playlists that are custom built for different moods. Say for example, when I start my day to office, I usually play a upbeat playlist which plays all peppy songs so that I'm all charged up to office. Whereas when I come back home, I play a very more subtle and a calming down kind of uh, songs which is another playlist altogether so having custom playlists in advance basically helps you tune into the required mode interesting but you know what i think about while driving what food you know what that means you are probably mm. hungry of course okay almost always you must have some kind of ready made food that is not so much of junk available in your car consider taking a banana or apple whenever you go to office so that when you come back home you could you know probably have that but if you are too lazy to grab a banana every morning probably just have some uh, ready made nuts biscuits or some cookies so that whenever you are hungry you can just munch in on these some healthy foods You may not realize but a hungry stomach could actually lead to loss of temper making you feel the traffic to be much more miserable than it actually is. Fine. I will think about it. Sometimes I drive to my friend's home which is on the way to office and we carpool from there. She rides me to office with unlimited gossips. Oh, I understand why you like it. But you know what one of my friends actually learned french just by driving to office What are you kidding No let me explain See uh, let's say your uh, commute to office one way is 30 minutes that way you are actually driving for one full hour That's 20 hours a month or 10 days a year 10 full days a year You can literally learn any skill even that french language that my friend just learned Oh really? How? There are audiobooks for literally every subject on the planet. And with audiobooks you could just simply listen to them as you drive your way to office and back home. This way every day you spend some time on a particular subject and over a period of time you can learn it sufficiently enough that you could call yourself a pro in it. Hmm. I can clearly see you are learning. Your car is full of audio CDs. It's important to keep your car clean. 
get rid of all the junk in your trunk. Remember, every additional screw on your car reduces your fuel efficiency. Maybe it's time to throw away your tennis racket that's sleeping there for years now. What? I don't agree. I love playing tennis. Also, it's probably a better idea to take public transport or stay at home during abnormal weather. I still remember last winter you almost drowned yourself in rising water during the storm while you were driving to office. Remember? Yeah, that I agree with you. It's not probably a good idea to drive when you know there is an impending storm. All right. Let me tell you the most important tip of all of this. Subscribe to Reimagine That.